Welcome to Fala Engineering video series. Let's get started. We got them on the run. Is it recording? Yes. All right. Am I blurry? Yeah. Now you're clear. Am I clear now? Yeah. Hey, this is David. Fall Engineering. I have a request for a video. This is going to be a long video. I just came in from the shop. And yes, um, our products are made in America. With American steel. American workers. This is a long video. This is a municipality video. This is the cities. The city. Oh boy. The cities. I invented this system for the city. Actually, after I retired, I was hanging around with some friends. And we were talking about what we can do. Can we lend money, give money to this? Can we do this? Can we do that? And I had some fleas in my house. Come to find out, I had four rats in my attic. Did not know it. I found every single one of them and took care of them. When the pest control come, when the pest control company came, I um, was talking to the guy and I was like, "What do you, you know, what do you do?" He said, "This is what he does." And I said, "Well, I said your your traps are crap. They're old." He goes, "Can you do better?" Then I found out that. Rats hurt people, lots of ways. They hurt people by biting them. They hurt pe people by their feces. They hurt people by spoiling food, things like that. So our trap is designed for cities. Our trap is designed for any area where there are mice and rats. That's what it's designed for. We do have an interior trap and we have an exterior trap. I don't want you to use the, the exterior trap with the interior and please never use the 100%, which is the which is interior trap outside. It's a bad idea. All right, so let's get down to it. So in the city, you have a road. And by the way, the assistant of the mayor of a city asked me for this video. And I want to thank her for it because her name, I think it's Julie. Julie, Julie, Jules, Julie, Julie, Julie. I'm terrible with names. I did this video because of her, because she was like, aha. Oh, I said, fine. So I said, okay, here we go. So you have a city. Now a city generally has a, has a street, okay? And in the street, this is the center, this is a street. This can be one lane, two lanes, four lanes, five lanes, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's the city. Also, in the city, let's say you have a restaurant. Okay, and a store. Okay, this side you have another, let's say you have a bar and you have, I don't know, a clothing company. You usually then have an alley right here. And on the side of the alley, you may have an apartment building, a house, a house, things like that. There's someone's home, someone's home, things like that. You also could have a large hotel here as well. A large hotel, a Walmart, a Piggly Wiggly, a large store. This is the basic of all cities. All cities look like that. That's what I've always seen. When I retired, I retired as a commercial real estate broker because I, as an engineer, you don't get paid that much. Anyway, so, now that you're Eon Musk, Whew, what a great guy. All right, anyway, so let's go with this. So I wanna explain how this works. When you have a rat, a male rat and a female rat, they usually have Four, they usually have three to four females. When you do this at the end of the year, you could end up with over 5,000 rats that are being mated because they will continue, continue, continue to mate and they will, they will exponentially. That's the fact. What they will do is they will be a male, a, t in, a rat, a male in this, in this restaurant right here, in the ceiling tiles, around the kitchen. You've seen the videos. They're there. Restaurants have their back doors open all the time. 
Restaurants have the front doors open all the time. They get food coming in, so on and so forth. And you're busy running a restaurant. You don't always take care of the walls, things like that. But they will get in. They will chew through the stucco if they have to. But they will get in. That's a fact. Now here you have another male. In this store here, with a female, 5,000, easily. But now you have a Walmart. Walmarts are huge. So you have a male here and female. Again, very, very simple. This is the sat, this is interesting. Now let's say you have a rat, rat hat, this is rat infested, and this is not, okay? But then you have a home here who has a male and a female. They're starting a family. That's so sweet. Anyway, so this is how this works. As these male and female have female and male offspring, all these male offspring are kicked out of the facility. You'll see them sometimes because they'll cross the road. When they cross the road, they end up over here. We're going to use this as a male. So now you have a male here, 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 you have some males here, you have a male here, so on and so forth. Okay? These males are going to challenge these alpha rats for their position. They will fight for those. What happens is that when this male beats this alpha rat, he takes over. And in some cases, he drives out all males and some of the, he drives out certain animals, and it depends on what happens, so they drive out. But you gotta understand one thing, this creates a flow. This male from here comes to here, beats him. This male runs over here. Oh, there's a smaller male here with a female and a female. This male comes through here, and he kills this male here and takes over this. Or, he, or he, they don't usually fight to death, but they scare each other. Now this male is going to go this way. He's going to run over here, and he's going to look for a female somewhere. Now remember, there are hundreds of fe females being released. Because if the females act a certain way, or they don't, they don't have the right DNA, or there's too many of them, the, the alpha female will drive out these females and these males. So I want, you to, I want you to view a city as a tornado for rats. Rats will go through and they will continuously, let me do this right, they will continuously drive across the city like this. They continuously move across the city and they duplicate this all year long. They drive this way, they drive down this way, they drive down this way all year long and they move to different areas of the city going and going and going and this creates a circle of the city, and it continues to go through the city. But, this is the cool part. Let's say this property here has the 100%. Let's say this property here has the 100%. Let's say this Walmart has 100% here and 100% here. And the Walmart is also going to use our outdoor traps. Here, 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 and here. They're going to use the outdoor traps here too. This wave now becomes a stream. Because now you're disrupting the movement of the rats. You're disrupting them because you're lowering the population. Also, you're getting rid of the alpha rats, which causes disruption. And you end up you end up breaking this wave. And over time, as the when these alpha males go away and these females get older, you start losing rats, slowly but surely. 
So now that 5,000 number turns down to 2,000. And you start, you slow the wave down. Can you stop it? No. The only way to stop it is if everybody had a trap, which usually doesn't happen. Not unless the government mandates it. That's how you deal with the city. And this wave of rats will continue to go straight down the city, will go right across the alleys. It will continue to grow and grow and grow and grow. And that's how they keep going. But by, see, people think poisoning them is going to help. Poison doesn't do anything. Because the alpha male rats will send the beta and the charlie male, the lower rats, in to test the poison. Some rats are becoming immune to poison. Now they have poisons even stronger. Now, let's say you have a, let's say you have, oh my God, let's say you have an owl nearby, right? Right? We call him Hootie. Owl's going to die. Outside the city, towards the suburb, suburb areas, you have, you have uh, small, like, uh, coyotes, right? They're going to die as well because they're going to eat the rats. Don't poison an animal. It doesn't work. Also, right now, New York City is killing rats underground. Rats are going to decompose. When they decompose... There's going to be a flurry of flies that's going to take over. And these flies are going to spray germs everywhere. Now, we all know that rats spread germs and pestilence. Flies, the way they operate is, they regurgitate on a substance, an acid, and then they, they, pull, the, they pull the substance back. At the same time, they're using the restroom on your food. Flies are nasty. Let's not have more than we need. If you're in an area with a lot of flies, flies grow off of dead animals. We call them maggots. If you have too many flies in your city, because you have too many dead things. Flies don't grow off of tile or carpet. It has to be a maggot. Maggots you see mostly in trash cans. But you also don't, what you don't see is they're everywhere. So there are people who call me sometimes and they have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 flies in their house. You got a dead animal in your house. And then we have a dead animal that tracks larger animals. And you see about different animals like um, peeling off the roof and trying to get into your house. Bobcats, all these different things. They're coming after the rats. They're coming after the mice. So you want to break this wave up. Over time, this wave will start going away. See? They will start going away. And you end up slowing down the wave. Can you get rid of all the rats? I don't think it's possible. I really don't. But you could slow it down. You could get it to the point where it's manageable. And that is what our 100% and our munch box does, our interior and exterior trap. Like I said, thank you for your patience. I know it's been a long video. And... Um, if you have any questions, you can always give us a call. Our number will be on the screen. Thank you very much. David, Paul Engineer. Bonus thing. I just forgot. I just remembered. When they kill all those rats underground, and when you poison all those rats, rats will eat other rats. You're creating a situation where you're killing a certain amount of rats, and you're allowing the other ones that are smarter to breed. The 100% takes away their sight, it takes away their hearing, it takes away their ability to understand where they're at in a spatial. Also, it also has an one more effect, our outside box. Our outside box, we call the munch box, that kills rats, promotes rats to eat rats. You get to the point where rats do eat other rats. And that's how it works. And then we end up killing those too. So that's your bonus thing regarding your wave for your city. I hope it was easy. I hope it was understandable. And if you have any questions, you can always talk to me or one of my staff. Thank you very much. Once again, David, Fall Engineering. I need you desperately. desperately. You know you want me. I 
need you.